Hello, I got statistics from the developer and now we are reviewing them. So here are the unit win percentages. On the left is the unit win percentage and on the right is unit win percentage if the unit was in your starting pack. So on the right table only a couple of unit chains, the ones you can select in your starting pack. For example, Phoenix and Fang and Crawler and whatever. All these statistics are from high MMR players who are constantly above 1800 or more. And the uh, War Factory is sitting on the first position. I think it's a strong unit, but it's not as strong as the, this table suggests. Like it's a big hard counter to some boards. And it's also a bit of a win more unit sometimes. Like if, if you are doing really well in the game and you, you can close it out with a war factory and the enemy can't do anything. Also, if the enemy board consists of something like four storm callers with fire tech and he's relying on the fire to clear or or your chaff and you just build a factory it with missile interception you just auto win the game and the rate is on the second position like as as soon as i saw the last patch notes i thought the rate would be super broken and it definitely is it's it's like very strong unit right now not in all situations but uh, especially when you are rushing with it it's very strong and even more stronger if both players deploy on the line and you have a better setup to build a raid you just auto win the game and the phoenix stormcaller crawler fang have always been very strong in this game so no surprise here the hacker is red because there is not enough data available so ignore it the Vulcan is, uh, I guess, about where it needs to be. It's the, the best of the like mediocre units. And the Sledge is, I think, uh, a little bit lower than it should be. Like Now it feels like a very strong unit, the Sledgehammer. But not a lot of players are, are using it in high MMR, maybe like 30% of the players. So it's definitely a bit underrated now. I'm surprised to see Overlord this high though. It might be better than I, I give it credit for, but I think the win rate is because it's it punishes a lot when you are weak to it. So I think it has to do with that. It's a, it's a good counter to some boards. So when people are building overlords, they are they are winning the games. Then there's Arc Light, Mustang, Steel Ball. People know how to play around these these units, to, so no surprise there. The melting point is uh, very surprising, though. I don't know. Maybe people don't know how to play them more. For me, it has a, it's a very strong unit, and it also is a very swingy unit, like it hard counters the enemy. You should be building them to address a situation, and when you build the melting point, it, it should insta-win the situation for you. So uh, I don't get it why it's so low. The other ones I can see Marksman is a bad unit, Wasp is a bad unit, Fortress after they, I don't know what they did, they, the rocket punch targeting was, was changed like a month or two ago and after it, it it's complete garbage in my opinion, uh, before it, before that it felt like one of the best units in the game but now it's, it's very unusable. It's only good against like Vulcan. It's not that good even against Sledgehammers right now, which is crazy because all the Fortress does is like hard counter Sledges. 
the Scorpion is very low, but I think uh, it hasn't found its its place yet. Like the Scorpion is a really powerful unit, but it's it's very vulnerable to, for example, Overlords. So it's hard to know when is the actual correct time to buy them. And the Rhino, it it doesn't feel good. Like when you are going some kind of Rhino push, it it never works out. Partly because of uh, of the rates being very strong right now. But they are reworking the Rhino. I don't know when it's gonna come, but I think it will be changed to a 300 cost units. And let's look at the right table. So what units are affected or which unit's win rate is affected if it's in your starting pack. The Phoenix has a little bit higher win rate and uh, it will become the, the highest winning unit in the game. I don't know uh, how many people play the Phoenix aggressively, but for me it, it feels super nice to start with. With a Phoenix you usually win round two or round one and round two you can use jump drive, you can do whatever, it, it's so versatile. You can build a lot of compositions around around it and it forces the enemy usually to go into Mustangs or more Fangs. Then you can counter them with Stormcallers which is another uh, high win pro percentage unit. It, it's so good. And then the, both the fangs and crawlers win percentage is higher here, and no surprise there. If you start with chaff, it's just much better than not starting with chaff. And I suspect the arc light. Let's see. Yeah, the arc light win percentage is lower when you are starting with the arc light. So that makes sense as well. The marksman is. Uh, is higher in the starting pack. I don't know why that is. Is it because of the assault mode? Maybe. Then there's uh, sledges. They are higher when you start with them. I'm not sure if I understand why. It is a very tempo heavy unit. It levels quite fast. It is very very good to start with. Maybe it's that, that's just it. It's just tempo that it levels and uh, you get a lot of use for it. Then there's Mustang. I'm actually pretty surprised by this. The Mustang has higher win rate when you start with them. Because for me, I always feel like the, if I start with Mustangs, the Mustangs never level. I can't protect them. But when I make them myself on round two or round three, I, I make it to counter fangs, for example, and then they level instantly and snowball out of control. So this is uh, really surprising to me. And also the Mustang start has been feeling like very bad for me to start with Mustangs. So very surprising to me. Then there's Steel Balls, which uh, win rate is lower if it's in the starting pack. This may be surprising to me as well, because I view the steel ball as a very snowball unit. Like when you start with them round one, either they do nothing, they don't level, then they are completely useless, you can sell them. But sometimes they instantly level and you get an item for them on round two, for example at the portable shield. And they become crazy good and they snowball out of control very fast. But I also... Maybe it's because uh, not a lot of people are are building uh, steel balls in the late game. Or when they are building them, they are like hard countering the enemy. They are re really strong to build at uh, some situations against... Uh, Vulcans or melting points or even with armor against Mustangs. So maybe that's why that the start isn't that good uh, and uh, when you do it late game it's like hard counter to the enemy composition. 
So that's it. Hope you liked the statistics. I have some more, but I'm gonna make uh, another video about them. Thanks for watching.